Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today we have got a squad builder for under 35,000 coins. I thought I'd do a cheap one since all these ridiculous packs have been coming out. And you guys probably don't have many coins after Black Friday and today, which is Cyber Monday. So I thought instead of doing some packs, I'd try and help you guys out and bring you a fairly cheap team on both consoles. If you're on the Xbox, I think it's 25k. On the PlayStation, it's about 35, and it's a really interesting team, to be honest. A lot of you have said, I need to make my hybrids a little bit more different and use some different leagues, so I've tried to do that. Now, if you'd like to get some coins, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a fantastic website that's fully automated, and we have a discount code that gets you 10% off at the checkout, which is Toby10. You pop that in, and then you get discounts off all of your orders, which is really, really cool. So... Let's have a chat about this team and what I think about it and why I put in certain players. So Mika Richards on right back now. You're going to see two things in this team, both of our left back and our right back. They're fairly slow compared to what people would probably normally have in a team, but they're a lot more physical, a lot more bulky, and they're just generally a lot taller. So this guy is a silver with 91 physical for 800 coins. He's also six foot three. He's not even that slow, like, 71 pace is not slow. I guarantee if you throw, like, a shadow card on him, he'll probably feel around about 75 to 78 pace, which is monstrous considering he has 91 physical. I hadn't seen that guy before, but damn, he looks amazing. Really, really awesome. We've got Fellaini at CDM, 6 of 4, medium, medium work rates. Pretty much like an all-round CDM, just gets the job done to be honest now with the defense i noticed chris smalling was phenomenal like he really really put in a lot of work now i didn't notice rojo as much that's probably a good thing like if i don't really notice anything bad i guess that's always a positive so left mid we have got a really awesome player actually so he's got 84 pace and 74 shooting then on the right hand side we're going with quadrado again i know i used him in my last squad builder but I wanted to make a more interesting team running because you guys were right. In my last video, it was kind of just a competitive team. It had like a Barbu in, Sherlock, and it was pretty boring. Like it was a really, really basic, average looking team. It was it was good. It was absolutely flawless. But in terms of like making some cool teams and hybrids and different links, it was pretty boring. So I decided to make a new one with him. We got Ramirez at center attacking mid to go into this like Liga MX and a player that's got a lot of praise, and I wanted to try him out. I'm going to throw him in after this guy. So we've got Pabon on the left-hand side, and he links up pretty nicely with our other striker. But 87 pace, 78 shooting, and 70 passing with four-star skills and a high attacking work rate. Like That looks like a phenomenal card, but my word does he get pushed off the ball every single time. It is so difficult to get past players with Pabon. I really, really struggled. Like, I had to so, so concentrate. And the player that I wanted to use was Arizala. So there's been a bit of hype about him a while ago. And 88 pace, 68 shooting, 78 physical, 5 foot 11, 4 star skills, medium, medium work rates. Looks like a cracking card for 2,000 coins. And I'm actually a little bit disappointed. Like, he's not bad. None of this team is bad in any way, shape, or form. But it just didn't really seem to get past anyone. I really struggled. Like, I play quite down the middle and my main focus is around dribbling and just generally getting past players and it was pretty tough like it was genuinely really really difficult but I'm gonna be honest and I do think the team is decent I don't think it's bad at all but Pabon really really does struggle to get past players and they don't have the dribbling that you kind of used to with the more expensive players it's weird Pabon and Arizala didn't feel smooth they didn't feel very like fluid in their dribbling they felt kind of static and they they'd stop a lot and it's a bit strange Cadrado was brilliant again not as good as he was at right forward the left back was actually a monster like he was so good at stopping even the really fast wingers Fellaini was really good but the team is so hard to pin down what you needed to do to get past players it was genuinely a really tough team to use but it's interesting it's something a little bit different and I think if you work with it and maybe build up play a little bit more than I did it might be a fairly strong team I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10 I really did 
kind of struggled. Like, it's a good team, and I think Arizona and Pavon aren't bad, but you need to come up against the right team because if they've got strong or very quick or just generally good defenders, it's going to be a really tough time, at least in my opinion. I struggled so much to get past people just because they're not the most fluid of dribblers. But let me know if you think the team was any good and give you some tips and suggestions. And leave a like if you have enjoyed it and subscribe for some more for myself. But take care, guys. Have an amazing day and goodbye.